happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. Today's April 9th, which is Easter. As you can see, I'm doing readings today. This is a regular work day for me. I work really seven days a week. This is my job. Um, this general, so the extended to this can only be watched on Patreon. Click that ex um, upside down triangle below. You'll have my first link to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. That's where you watch all the extendeds for the other readings that I do. Um, also, you know, for any Zoom sessions and things that I offer, it's also located there. Any of my products, the pre-orders are located there. Um, but the second link to Patreon is where you're going to want to go. And if you do not follow me there, you want to, okay? Because it's the only place you're going to be able to watch this extended. And, you know, today's Easter. And so I, usually I do this really cute energy of somebody loves me, right? It comes up usually every fucking year. Oh see what comes up this year first fucking card from my say la vie oracle deck is first date there's a feeling of new love right and this is the time uh easter you know sort of symbolizes not just the religious thing of of, of jesus resurrecting but also you know for spring it's the goddess of spring i, I forget her name austera um I always pronounce it incorrectly, but she symbolizes fertility and new beginnings and renewals and birth of new things. And that's the energy here is like birth of new things. For many of you, spring is going to start your new season of everything you have been hoping and praying for. There's a sense of new love coming in for many. And if it's someone you already know, then it means that there's a shift in the energy and it turns romantic for some of you, okay? But also something here ends. You have endings, bottom of the deck. I mean, it's one and the same, right? New beginnings can't happen without endings. It's the end of something which then now creates this new beginning. It can be end of the old life, like the caterpillar versus butterfly. So it's transformation. But it could also be a relationship here may have ended. Meaning end of friendship, now you're lovers. Oh, bitch, look at that. Gee, I wonder what's coming. New fucking love. <sighs> Gee, I wonder what the fuck is coming for many of you. Hmm. New love. First date. For yourself, that's that ending. The ending of something to allow freedom to let yourself, maybe it's to let yourself fall in love. Maybe it's about freeing yourself from a relationship or a connection with someone that it wasn't going nowhere, right? Freeing yourself to allow now new beginnings, separation. Yeah, so somebody definitely had to let go of somebody. If this is you or them. Somebody could have been in a karmic relationship. That's what I'm feeling for some. You know what's crazy is, you guys know me, I don't channel the whole Jerry Springer, third party, baby mama cheating, call you at three o'clock in the morning. I don't entertain that energy. You ain't gonna see me doing no booty motherfucking calls. Not at 45 years old and not at this vibration. Those are things that I've learned from, right? Sex and that energy of sex is very potent. And so as a goddess, we don't just give it to nobody. We're saving that, that energy, right? That sacred exchange for our counterparts. So many of us in this new vibration of this higher ascension are celibate, right? So I get this feeling of someone here may have been in a relationship or connection. That's why there could be nothing. And also some who were fucking single were afraid of this fucking connection because look at that, the chemistry. Someone here was used to normal mundane. They kept themselves away from magic, fire. They could be underlying self-sabotagers in that way. So very plainly, there could be a relationship here that ends because it's fucking time. It's just not, it's, it's over. That person now becomes free to be in this new love and new union for some. Without you interfering and intervening 
in it. You see what I'm saying? Now, we meet people through mm, universal, synchronistic, you know, circumstances, fate, if you will, and sometimes they're in relationships. And then that comes onto free will and what you choose to do. You can entertain them, they can entertain you while they're still committed or you are, or you can choose to say, no, you gotta figure your shit out, I've gotta figure my shit out. And when we do, if we're free and clear, then we can. That's the higher, the higher consciousness part of us, right? The part of us that has grown and has learned and has healed. We would not entertain something or someone who's already entangled in something else. Someone becomes free and now it's on. Or if they've always been single, now they're freeing themselves from this mentality of running from things that are this, that, that feel great, that are chemistry, right? Somebody here, it's unrequited love. So unrequited means there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So something ends because there's just not enough attraction. It's like just, there's no fizzle. Right? Not everybody we meet or not everybody in a relationship is madly in love with each other. And I feel like for some, the attraction has run out or never was. Sorry, the lighting is changing because of the time. Look at that. Eight of Cups in reverse. Upright, it's walking away and leaving something behind. In reverse, it's not. Someone here is going to be very reluctant to walk away from something or someone they may have prolonged an ending queen of swords she'll cut the ties immediately you don't fuck around with the queen of swords she is not to be fucked with hold on you know what i mean sorry i need to close the blinds because the lighting gets a little bit weird um, sorry, this tag is like digging into me. Queen of Swords has boundaries and she says, listen, buddy. I don't do the thing where I'm going to sit and fucking wait. And if you don't know what you want to do and if there's an ending here that you won't partake in. Then I'm gone. I'm leaving. This is someone who is assertive she's not afraid to say what she feels, not afraid to say what she thinks. She can be quite intimidating. Not necessarily because she's so blunt. You can be blunt and be irritating. Do you know what I mean? Like, have you ever like talked to someone and they're, they're so blunt and in your face, but it's irritating and it's overwhelming and it kind of is a turn off actually. Queen of Swords is not like that. She picks and chooses her words very wisely. So she actually has not a lot to say per se, okay? But when it's time to say it, she's not afraid to say it. That's the other thing too, is the right match between two people, right? Sometimes we meet a person and we're like, well, how come it's just, I feel like this about them and how come they don't feel like this about me? Because not everybody's gonna click, right? Some people just rub other people the wrong way and like, that's not a personal thing. It's just about like compatibility. Like your person's out there. There's a pot. There's a lid for every pot. It's almost borderline obsession here too with somebody. And someone's blocking that. Look, seven of wands. They're like, no. So some of you may have experience unrequited. Because this is about blocking someone off. And then you even have the unrequited energy. Someone here is learning that lesson. Uh, excuse me. They've learned it in the past about falling in love with the ones that won't offer any type of commitment or being really heavily attracted to those that it's they're not attracted to you, right? You, this is you or them. It could be a subconscious thing. Uh, it's like self-sabotage too for some, again, unconscious. Someone's breaking that chain I feel like this reading is going all over the place, but it's not my job to decipher it. It's my job to articulate it correctly and decipher the actual messages. But just like going with this, I, I'm, I'm kind of like losing the storyline here, but I, I don't give a fuck. Um, some, if this is for you, you're gonna, you're gonna be like, yep. Five of Cups, see that loss, sadness. 
someone feels like they, they can never meet the right person or the right person that they the right person they lost so it's like they're they're like um they're jaded they're bitter queen of pentacles a, a feminine here wants fucking commitment you gotta be careful with that it's okay to want that but you can't be so like needy with every person you meet that's such a turn off to people because vice versa right like when we meet people and they're just like i just want to be in a commitment i want to marry and it's just so much it doesn't even give me any excitement in the feeling of getting to know a person or like feeling it out or like letting it slow burn or happen fast or whatever it's just like they don't care who it is they just want to be with somebody it's the kind of vibe that you get and so be careful with that. She wants something solid, but be careful that you're not asking for it from the wrong person. There's something here about the universe is going to be testing you or them. So they may like bring decoys in. I mean, for years we've dealt with the decoys. What is a decoy? It's a person that they bring in to kind of be like, look over here, look over here, look over here, because it's not really what it is, it's a distraction. Remember, like we had false twin flames and they were to help us grow and evolve and learn to love ourselves, so they broke our fucking hearts in a billion pieces. Because without that, we wouldn't have learned those lessons. They may bring those lessons, they may bring it this time around because it's so close. I feel like when we get so close to it, it's when it's gonna, things will come up again kind of to test us testing our vibration you have here the lily which the lily talks about really fucking experienced and someone who is more mature and and literally that's what we're talking about like if you've been there done that then you know better they may be testing you the, 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 the they might be testing you uh, the universe is the fuck was that you have the road which is about decisions so sorry, hold on. I refuse to bend down. <laughs> I refuse to bend fucking down today. Um, so the road, right? Talking about oh fuck, it's the crow. No, it's not. It's the eagle. The eagle talks about clear vision, new perspective. So someone starts seeing something differently, they start to maybe see that there's a new pathway. Because the road card talks about multiple choice, it's about journey, it's travel, it's free will. Some of you are also realizing like, no matter what, you can't change someone's free will and vice versa, they can't change yours. So it is about deciding. Someone has to choose and decide whether they are going to partake in something new or not. And if they decide not to partake in something new with you, a new cycle starts and new love and all this shit right here comes in. See that? Because there will be an ending. Some of you really, really, really want a particular person. Temperance. But magnet being f f magnetically attracted. It's like a yearning but be careful it's not one-sided yearning bottom of the deck's a high priestess this is a very witchy feminine who believes in magic she's magical high priestess is also keeper of secrets there's this, there's this like mysterious energy to a person some of you the test here is playing your hands right because in the past many of us myself included handled things the wrong way we sort of just put it all out there we were like Gigi from um he's just not that into you remember how Gigi was if you ever saw that movie it's a, you know and if you haven't you must she did all the wrong fucking things in the beginning she was overly anxious and she was like so am I gonna call you? You're gonna call me? She would like make excuses to fucking call them. She'd be like really desperate almost, that energy, and it would be like sort of repulsive to the to the to the man. And then when she flipped that switch, right? When she when when it didn't work out with her and what's his face, Alex, and her heart got broken. 
she was like, oh, I thought this was love. I thought we were, you were feeling me and I was feeling you. And he was like, what? We're just friends. What the fuck? Oh my God. That's why I just didn't want to be friends with you anyways. And like in their particular situation, she was the exception to the rule because the exception to the rule was that that's one in a billion. That's like when pigs fly happening, right? Most times it's kind of like, yeah, it doesn't really work out. She was the exception. And he ended up falling in love with her. And she was like, screw you then. Fuck you. I'm going to go out with your friend that you tried to put, hook me up with. And then he was like dying without her, yearning. So when she let him go was when it allowed him to be able to come to her, that attraction, right? Because one's a runner, one's a chaser. If you're chasing, they're running. You don't chase people that don't want to be with you. But also at the same time, there's this exception to the rule here for some of you. And for some of you, it may be where they're just not interested. And that's okay. It's not a personal thing. It just means you're not the right person. Don't take it personal at this stage in the game. It's not about being taking things personal. It's about using your fucking spidey senses to figure that out. To not get yourself in a situation. To repeat old patterns and cycles and for some of you you may need to be deceived or need to go down this path of believing something for it not to be like a decoy because the universe has another lesson for you or whatever right like it could be like a karmic sort of contract between you and this person like you know what break my fucking heart in this lifetime because i need to learn how to love myself and they're like okay see you there undeniable sexual attraction between two people but there's also this energy coming up of like the unrequited friend thing which can be super scary because then it's like well is this not it or is it it or is it not or is it it and for some of you it won't be it and for some of you it will be it and that's the fucking roll of the dice Every situation is going to be super different. I mean, this is a general reading. If I was reading you guys specifically, it'd be different to feel out. But uh, generally, it's very difficult to say. Look at that. Not the right time. And then perfect timing. It's like polar opposite energy, right? But something is not the right time. Allow things to happen naturally and in divine timing. And don't smother something or someone. Allow it to grow organically and naturally. And also you have the card, if you believe. Some people start talking themselves out of wonderful, beautiful, amazing, holy grail, magical wishes coming true things. They just shy away from it. They go, oh, this can't happen. And they start like fucking going in their head about shit. Just because something doesn't work out in a situation or with a person doesn't mean you're not going to get everything you deserve or everything you've ever dreamed of. Okay, that's the fucking test right there itself. Bottom of the deck, you have big happy changes. Huge, beautiful changes are coming. And for some of you, it's new love. And it's going on dates and being romantic and falling in love. But also allowing yourself to be loved. It is self-sabotage, chasing people and being attracted to people that don't want us. I've done that in the past years ago, but I've done it because it was a repeat pattern of self-sabotage. Little did I know. I deep down inside didn't believe I deserved love back then. I was just unhappy with the way I looked. I was unhappy with myself. I had issues I wasn't dealing with. I had mommy issues, daddy issues, right? I was in an abusive relationship. And then I got into that abusive relationship because of codependency. I didn't love myself now fast forward right it's been seven years actually this year since I've ended that that long-term committed relationship that the karmic relationship I was in I've basically been essentially single all this time and kind of off and on in the beginning of that kind of dating a few people but was basically single and now I'm going oh and and okay let me let me tell you this I've been in situations the past few years and recently where I've met someone and I'm like, oh my God, I think this could be it, right? But then it doesn't kind of go anywhere because they're not very aggressive and taking things to the next level. And it's kind of this murky sort of gray area, whether this is like a business associate, right? Someone we're in business with or friend or someone that we don't really know romantically like that, right? Just someone we know. 
And I have learned in this new version of myself, in this new vibration, that like I won't chase and I won't allow myself to fantasize and buy into this illusion of something if this person's not in it. And I'll know they're in it because they're showing me and being, you know, putting in action and effort. Love is an action word. So for me, having an attraction to someone and just feeling a vibe and communicating with them is not enough. I don't allow myself <clears throat> to take it there, here and here, because I've done that in the past and I've got myself screwed over. So now what I say is, listen, I wanna feel these things and I'm open to these connections, but if I start to feel and I feel they're not letting themselves feel, whether it's because it's not meant to be and they're not my person or whether it's because they're self-sabotaging themselves, I just don't let myself fall flat, flat on my fucking face. I don't, I don't allow that. <clears throat> See what I'm saying? I catch myself because that's my lesson. I've learned that lesson already. So universe is going, they learn their lesson, moving on to the next cycle. And then for some of you, it is being the exception to the rule like Gigi and Alex, and he's just not that into you. But you got to stand up for yourself fucking first, huh? Remember, if you're chasing, they're running. All right, guys, let's get into this extended. I am so excited. I'm going to use the dirty deck and a bunch of other ones to feel this out. Obviously, there's deep connection here, but there's a lot of buts and iffiness and complications possibly for some. All right, I want to thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Don't forget, click that upside down triangle below. You're going to have to go below to follow me on Patreon to watch it. I have a couple of exciting things coming up for you guys, okay? Um, I am accepting requests for the $50 email readings where I pull about five to eight cards for you guys, take a picture of it, email it to you, and I write out, I type out a brief description of the channeled messages. Those are $50. This is last call for those. You can only request those by emailing me, saltwaterheelstarot at gmail.com, $50 email session. Um, takes about two weeks or so. I am accepting, again, emergency sessions, $200 for 30 minutes live phone call, booked within about seven days. And then the regular live phone calls are 30 minutes, right? And that one is 160, booked within about two weeks or so. Um, I am extremely behind on everything. Um, and I mean everything. If you have not heard back from me yet after you've paid for your reading, I did not forget about you, unless it's something really ridiculous like you haven't heard from me since fucking last year. I keep getting people asking, where is it? Where is it? And it's just adding onto the pile. For products that you have purchased pre-orders, you'll know they've been mailed out because you will be emailed a tracking number. If you did not receive a tracking number, it means it has not come in yet. It hasn't been mailed to you, okay? Now, the two newest oracles that I um, put out, um, my pink potion, and I also have my crimson secrets. You can see I'm not using them because I have not received them yet. They come from out of country. Sometimes they take forever, but also I think it's caught up in, in customs. Um, I know that when, when I ordered my um, calendula, I ordered calendula from someone um, and I didn't know it actually came from Greece. <sighs> the fucker took, swear to God, so long, I even forgot about the shit. I had to order calendula from someone else. That took so fucking long because it got held up in customs. It took like almost, I think it was like almost two months, a month and a half, two months or so. So these cards are obviously held up in customs. Patience is a virtue. I, I fully believe in divine timing. You don't think I want to get my hands on those motherfuckers to shuffle to? But you don't see me freaking out. Okay. Divine timing. Again, did my bracelet get shipped out? Where's this? Where's that? If you receive an email with a tracking, it has been. Now, reading requests. If I have not contacted you yet, it's because I have a list of people and I go through the list and I work with them and I say, hey, what about this day? They go, oh, okay, let me get back to you. So sometimes I'm waiting for people previous ahead of you to tell me yay or nay so I know those options and days and times are available, okay? No one's forgotten about. Now my emails are atrocious because I was sick for like almost a month, three weeks or so. Remember, I lost my voice for a week of that time. I'm behind, I'm in the weeds. Please, please, please refrain yourself from emailing. Can I just see about my reading? Can I just check out my bracelet? If you didn't get a tracking number, it, it wasn't mailed. And I'm telling you everything in divine timing. I'm one person trying to make all the bracelets, pack them, ship them. You will get your shit, whether it's your product, your candle, your oil, or your reading in divine timing. And I truly believe that. And I cannot stress this enough. I do not believe in forcing shit and rushing shit. 
period. And it, you know, I've been doing this since 2017 and I've been selling these products for several years. Candles are new, the oils are new, but my bracelets I've been doing for several years. And you guys know, if you know me, you know, you trust me on this. I wish I could get everything done and, like that and not, not have to have that hanging over my head and worry about, ah, but this is just not the way it works. Divine timing always. Okay. So thank you for your patience there. I will see you guys in this extended. Love you guys. Bye.